The USDA released the annual cattle inventory estimates the last day of January, and Daryl is here to talk about it. Daryl, what did the report show? Well, overall, the report showed that we continued modest herd expansion in 2017. Uh, the overall or all cattle inventory was up uh, seven tenths of one percent. Uh, the beef cow herd was up 1.6 percent. Um, the uh, beef replacement heifer number was down um, about 3.7 percent. And if you work through all of the numbers and calculate an estimated feeder supply for January 1 of 2018, that was also down about 2.3%. And then what are the main take home messages and expand on that a little bit more, the expectations for 20, the 2018 outlook? Well, I think there's a couple of things you can get out of this report. One is uh, the beef replacement heifer number was down. Um, some people are taking that to mean that uh, herd expansion is completely over. If you look at that, that beef heifer inventory as a percent of the cow herd, that's actually still at a relatively high level. Uh, to me, that says that there's still some potential for additional herd growth in 2018. I don't know that it has to happen, but I think the potential is there. So I wouldn't be surprised if we see uh, very modest uh, additional growth in 2018. The other thing is that feeder supply being down is a function of the fact that we placed cattle so aggressively in 2017 uh, with the dry conditions and the lack of wheat pasture at the end of the year we put a lot of those calves in the feedlot early so we're actually starting with a little bit tighter supplies at the beginning of 2018 even though overall cattle numbers are up and and so that's going to help support the market it just shows that we've done a very good job from 2017 on into 2018 at moving through these cattle numbers very very effectively and speaking of dry it's on everyone's minds again now and drought expanding how do you think that'll impact things this spring well, you know, we're set up, unfortunately, with what could be a very bad situation if nothing changes. Uh, you know, it's, it, we've sort of written off wheat pasture at this point. It was just a really a, a very disappointing situation. But what's more important now is we start looking ahead to spring conditions. Uh, if nothing changes in the next 60 to 80 days, then we have a very serious problem. We're set up, unfortunately, much like it was in 2011. So we could potentially find ourselves around uh, April 1st in a situation where we have very little flexibility, very little forage to work with, and, uh, and not seeing any uh, prospects for spring growth. So that's not a forecast at this point. We've got lots of time to fix this if, if we start getting some moisture, but we really need to be paying attention to it. And, and unfortunately, you need to think about a, a plan well in terms of how you would move animals out or liquidate animals uh, should we get into a situation where that becomes necessary. Okay, Daryl Peel, thanks a lot. We'll see you again soon.